Hey Daily Dosers, Chris here. We wrap up our two week project on the fruits of the spirit today with a story that goes back some, man, I don't know, almost 30 years ago now when I'm in Fallbrook, I'm a single guy. I'm invited over to a barbecue of a guy that lives a couple blocks away. Everyone's hanging out in the backyard at night and his name was Buck or Hutch. It was something like that, I can't remember. And he's all, guys, let me show you this. We've got carne asada coming right off the grill and he takes one of these big fatty pieces and he calls his dog over and he has his dog sit and then he takes that carne asada and he lays it across his dog's nose just lays it right there stay and I'm watching I'm like no way is that dog not moving and that dog starts shaking starts slobbering his eyes cross-eyed on that carne asada and Buck just turns around and starts a conversation with us now we're not listening to him we're all watching his dog and I'm like are you kidding me And he talks for maybe a minute, maybe two. I mean, it seemed like 15 minutes. I'm sure it was shorter. And then Buck just reaches out his hand and he snaps his finger. And the moment he did, that dog flipped the carne asada and just swallowed it. And I'm like, that's amazing. I have never seen someone teach a dog that kind of self-control before. And that's how we wrap up the entire fruits of the spirit. (laughs) This picture of, oh, is that self-control? Man, if that's self-control, I don't know if I have it. So let me tell you how to get it. Again, for two weeks, we've been doing a take-home test on what does it mean to grow as a Christian? What does it mean to have the life of Christ produce this fruit in us? And may I remind you, Paul says this is the fruit of the Spirit, not fruits. There's a lot of places in the Bible that says, here's the spiritual gifts that God gives to people. And I'm like, oh, I may have this one, but I don't have that one. I don't. No, no, fruit singular. For every Christian, what we've studied these last two weeks, these are the things that God will produce and wants to produce in our life. So you can't look at the list and go, oh, I'm not about loving or kindness or peace, but I'll be this one. No, no, these are all us. Let me read the list and see how it ends today with a piece of carne asada laid across your nose. Galatians chapter 5, 22. So the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And I love that it ends with self-control because it is the basket that all these fruits have to sit in, isn't it? To be loving, I gotta have self-control because I'm gonna act unloving. To have peace, I'm gonna have to have self-control, not to react. To have kindness, you see how it all works, doesn't it? Self-control is the basket that all these things fit in. So this week and last week, if you heard one or two you're wrestling with and go, how do I do it? Let me tell you, you need self-control to know how to respond. And here's the difference. Self-control is learning how to respond, not react. See, I got a lot of situations in life where someone confronts me or someone crosses me or there's just some yahoo out in culture that when I'm fishing with my daughter starts yelling at me. See, that's a real story. What happens? The old Chris comes right to the surface. The old flesh that we talked about two Mondays ago that's gonna compete with the Spirit of God, old Chris comes right here. And old Chris is all, just let me out. Just let me play for about five minutes. Let me tear this dude to shreds. Man, let me put this situation on. I'm like, I can't let that happen. Oh, it'd be great to react, but then I'm going back to my flesh and the consequences and a life I left for good reason and nothing good comes from old Chris. I've, I've had to learn how to respond, not react. And you go, Chris, how did you do it? How, how can I do it? Let me just tell you, you can't. That's why this is called the fruit of the Spirit. It's not called the fruit of Chris or the fruit of Michael or the fruit of Denise. This is the fruit of the Spirit. You and I all have buttons that get pushed by boss, by employees, by spouse, by kids, by neighbors, by traffic, by what will you just name it. We all know areas where old self wants to come out and just wreak havoc and have play. Those areas we need to surrender. This is something the spirit does in our life. It's something I've never been able to do on my own. I'm a reactor. Sometimes maybe you're a nuclear reactor. We need to learn to respond like Christ, not react like Chris. Here's the irony. To have self-control, you have to learn to lose control. You're like, I I thought we're saying not lose control. No, 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 not lose control to your old self. Lose control to the Spirit. In all those areas that are buttons for us, I need to say, God, I want to lose control here. Before I lose control, I want to lose control to you. God, I give you these situations. I give you this person, this neighbor, these kids, this spouse, this environment, this whatever. You, God, produce in me a response that is Christ-like not a reaction that is Christ-like. This is self-control 
This is the bowl that everything sits in. From this moment on, Christ, I lose control to you. Before I ever get there, you produce this in me in areas I can't produce myself. Self-control.